Um, just, just being ourselves, um, doing what we said we'd, we'd do and fully understanding how we was going to go about it and, and, and trusting ourselves to, to play how we'd, how, we'd, uh, how we'd said we was going to play. Um, that's it in a nutshell, really. Um, I thought we was composed enough to, to uh, not get distracted along the way to, to play the game that we wanted to play. It's something that we've done before, not just to the All Blacks, and, and, and won a few, uh, won a, a game or two uh, that way against them. But we've done it to um, other teams as well. You know, you've the game's all about creating creating opportunities, and uh, with that, you also get a bit, a bit of field position, territory, etc. You know, so um, you know we we created quite a quite a bit of opportunity, certainly in, in the first half. Did, first half, did we? Did we get the reward for it? We could have been better, a little bit more clinical, but the um, the opportunities were, were being created and uh, it, it allowed us to um, keep a hold of the game. With um, Hammond and being the All Blacks now, is there more to come to this team outside our area? Well, the, you know, the, 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 tough, the toughest thing in, 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 um, in, in sport, certainly at the top level, is to be consistent and, you know, when you're when you're chasing something down, um, you've always got a goal in sight. And the hardest thing, when you when you keep playing well, is to is to is to keep getting better. Um, and and that's why we respect them so much. They've been they've been at the top for so long, and everyone sees it as an opportunity uh, to to um, to play against the best team in the world and, and test themselves. And they they time and time again keep coming up with the goods, you know. So. You know the test for us has been, as you know, what we've been talking about um, in, in the last couple of years is consistency of performance, and we've had a, a, a few few good ones. You know, and we um, we need to back that performance up now with a with a good one next week. I mean, Ian Foster's just been full of praise for Ireland's performance. And it's the best performance he's um, had since he's from New Zealand head coach. Where does it rank for you in terms of you? Uh, he was kind enough to, to to say those words to me as well, which um, which I really appreciate. Um, look, we all know. I mean, we, we said in, in in this in these chairs last week um, that you you need to be at your best, and you, you probably need a bit of luck as well, you know, along the way. I don't think we needed the luck because we was at our best, probably, you know. Um, but the the pleasing thing is. It, it can be better, like you know, we we created uh, a good few chances that we 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 got either got pulled back for or or, or didn't um, quite grasp. But um, just keeping the constant pressure on them was was pretty impressive. Yeah. That performance and, and that atmosphere as well, it's a pretty special occasion. Yeah, um, it was it was unbelievably special. We we talked about in the week of how we get the crowd in the game just by sticking to the process, you know. And uh, um, the crowd were constantly behind behind us, certainly in 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 those last ten minutes, you know, uh, dragging us through. But the boys the boys created that by by the good play that that was in front of them, you know. So um, hats off to everyone concerned, you know, as, as far as everyone that's connected to Irish rugby. It's a big day, isn't it? You know, we. Um, we're, we're a full crowd back. I think looking back, what probably subconsciously helped us um, it was a big week last week. You know, a hundred cap, fiftieth cap for Tyg, first for Dan Sheehan. We worked unbelievably hard in the first two weeks to get us back up to speed, and we took ownership of that very early. And you know, it made this week a lot easier because of that. What do you think, Johnny? Johnny, congratulations. What's your over? What's, what's your biggest sense of? Yeah, um, very, very proud. Uh, very proud of one to twenty-three. Um, you know, I thought we played some some great stuff in the first half. I don't know how we went in ten-five down at half time. <laughs> um, you know, we were we were brave at some of our calls. In hindsight, maybe you know the first penalty. I want to take three, but we they just got a sim bin and the pack wanted to to have a go. Um, and then they were accumulating penalties, and so we, we we sort of said, well, let's go again because 
that would, you know, another penalty they get a bit sim bin or you know maybe a, a, you know try. And we weren't we weren't clinical in the first half, but then fair play because this team has worked a hell of a lot on our our mental side of the game and to bounce back and to to come again is testament to the management and the and the the leadership group and the and the players themselves to to come back and be clinical in the second half because previously we would have said oh we didn't take our chances and and we would have not given up of course but we just would have put the heads down a bit but we we kept pounding pounding away and uh, we got our rewards Are you, are you asking him to say it out loud? <laughs> <laughs> well, belief comes from like looking across and making like when you trust your teammates to prepare well, and you trust that they're going to show up on the big day. That's where belief comes, and we didn't have that because we haven't done it consistently enough as a team last year. Um, you know, Six Nations off to a bad start and we regrouped and we've won, what is it, seven on the bounce now. So there, there is that belief now that if we can play our best, that we can get good results. So that belief is there now, but last week, was it there 100%? No, well, you gotta, you got to get it out of your, your teammates to you know, show them that you know, if, we, if we do play well, you, you can see what we can do and um, the results will be off the back of it. So it's about, like Faz said, it's, it's keeping the, to the process and, and making sure that you do all the things that you have to do and, and then the results look after themselves. Yeah, well, we've we've already identified, you know, the the start of a two-year journey, and, and we've we've sort of said that. So this is the start, and it's important. I said to the to the TV after that we continue to improve. Obviously, if if this is our peak, well, it's no good to anybody. You know, we need, to, and I think there is room for improvement. There's room for improvement individually. There's room for improvement. You can see some of the stuff in the first half, like. Um, things that you can improve on to make sure you take your chances because we could have scored a few tries in the first half um, that, that would have sort of counted. Um, so lots of room for improvement and we need to keep our feet on the ground and, and we need to, to keep driving this team. There's a lot of young guys in there, um, very young, a lot younger than me, um, and they need to realise that it's still the start and they, we need to keep building because the great thing about beating New Zealand is the lift gives to the country, but you don't. You don't win a trophy. You don't have something to to show for as such. Um, so as happy as we are, we, we need to, to push on again. Just one question. It seems like there's been a spice on the pitch. At one stage, Dan Cole, uh, Dan Cole, sorry, I don't know if you heard him, he said he's a bit of a mouthy neighbor to the ref. Um, I'm not sure if you picked that up or if it was like during the game. Yeah, he, he has plenty to say all the time. Um, like, I don't mind that. You know, it's, it's when you're on the pitch, um, you know, it's heated. It's 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 a battle, and um, you know, I was trying to speak to the ref, and and they were taking offence that I was speaking to the ref. Um, I wasn't saying anything out of line, I don't think. Um, but we'll have a look, and again, we, it's something that I'm always trying to work on is is my communication and uh, with with the referees, and we'll see how I went. Maybe let it boil over at times uh, towards the end of the first half, and I felt that. We had the ball, um, and we weren't getting some of the rewards for it. But um, we'll, we'll go and have a look. Johnny, Sorry, guys, Neil and Ashley were trying to get in there, and everybody got to you. Andy, Johnny touched on there about being mentally stronger. But what was the message at half time when there presumably was a frustration of being five points behind after how you played? Well, we wasn't frustrated in the sense that the, the, the feeling from the players that we were, we. We, um, when we was at our best, you know, we was causing them, we was causing them trouble. So the, the the sense of confidence was was there. But um, we we talked about just being calm, you know, and just sticking to the process. And you know, there's there's all sorts of things that that can go through your mind uh, regarding um, thinking too far ahead as far as winning. It's, it's it's about the process of everything, you know, making sure that our exits were clean, which they were. Making sure that you know, our kicking game was was spot on, which was which was great from time to time, and and just keep playing, you know, keep playing. Even even in the last ten minutes, you know, we've seen so many sides against the All Blacks just just 
try and shut up shop or, or whatever. You just got to keep playing, sticking to the process, and back ourselves. And uh, we did that pretty well. And Johnny, it's very physical, obviously, against the All Blacks. The bench had a massive impact for you standing on the pitch to be able to look to see the likes of Peter Mahoney coming on and have such an impact. How important is that in the team? It was huge. Um, you know, when we beat the All Blacks in 2018, Pete came up with some with some big plays, and he and he did the same tonight. That poach, uh, you know, on, on halfway was, was crucial uh, to getting the win. Um, and then, obviously, a special word for Joey to come on and, and kick three good goals. Like you know, he's been out for so long, and and uh, I was chuffed for him. I, I obviously wish. I was there doing it, but um, I was I was happy for him. And yeah, the bench had a, like when you bring Conor Murray on, ninety odd caps, Keith Earls, ninety odd caps, Peter Mahoney, like it's it's a brilliant thing to have because they knew what they needed to do to to see the game out and bring bring those younger guys through, you know. And, and they were outstanding when they came on. And you just said that you wish you were there doing it. Obviously, you had a little bit of a knock. How are you doing? Um, hopefully okay. I just twisted my knee and uh, it was. Struggling a little bit after half time with it, but um, we'll see you tomorrow. Guys, can. Thank you. Johnny, um, when you eventually do retire, whenever, whenever you eventually do retire, and, hey. uh, <laughs> whenever you do retire at the very early 27 World Cup, when you look back at your career, how proud will you be that you've been part of the team that's changed the relationship with this fixture? Like, you've never beaten them before 2016, now you've done three times in five games. I know the big one probably went against you, but like, you've got to pay attention now. Um, yeah, we got to play them three times in the summer, so we need, to, we need to, like I said before, keep our feet on the ground and, and to go down there and take them on in their own patch will be, you know, we had 50,000, you know, Irish people here today cheering us on. Um, you know, normally you have a few New Zealand, but with COVID and stuff, I don't, there wasn't that many in the in the crowd, and it'll be a different different challenge for us in the summer. But um, you know, that will give us a good barometer of where we're at to go down to New Zealand. But like it's it, we. They're the best team in the world, you know what I mean? So every time we play them, it's a massive battle. And yeah, we've come we've come out, but you know, it doesn't happen by accident. Like we've been building towards this and um the most important thing now is that it's a starting point, not a not a peak, you know what I mean? Sam White not just tell us about the presentation you made to it soon for Sean White and his family. Can you just talk us through the process of kind of coming up with that idea where they're coming from and what the other things do? Yeah, we would have liked to have done it um before the hacker, you know, just presented to them like they have done previously with, you know, when um, we've lost people close to us and um, they, 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 we, we contacted them through Faz, you know, uh, Greg Feek and John Plumtree have, have coached us and, and they said, look, it's still a bit raw for, for a lot of the players, so can we do it after the game? So we, we just felt it was, it was apt, you know, um, we were, you know, a few of the boys in Leinster, um, and Bundy as well, um, knew him really well, and, and they were cut up about it. So we wanted to show a gesture, so it's uh, fair play to everyone that contributed to it. Just one day, sorry guys, we've got probably time for like two quick ones that I know um, Keane's been trying to get in and Roy's been trying to get in, so we'll have to finish with those two. Johnny, I'm pleased because if the, if the quality of the tries he scored again, you know, like if James, James Lowe's try came from Norris, like Um, it, it was it, it was good at times, yeah. Um, but that stems off, you know, good set piece, good work at the breakdown, um, good basics. You know what I mean? So it's it looks sometimes a bit flash, but it's it's honestly it's, there's nothing too complex there. It's just us doing our job, and um, the times that we did that, it, it worked really well. So you know, again, it gives us the confidence that this plan works, and it's up to us now as players to. To implement it um, to the best of our ability and to keep pushing it on. There's just, like I said, plenty of room to to keep going and 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 building on that. No, I, I I don't think it's the last couple of weeks. It's it's. it's it, a little bit different. I mean, Johnny will tell you it's a little bit different to to what we've been used to um, in, in the past. Not not just internationally, but provincially, etc. You know, so it, things things take time to to take ownership of it. And you know, the the the, the lads have worked unbelievably hard, as I say, over the last couple of weeks. And you know, I, I think I think there was a continuation of 
uh, of what we achieved at the end of the last Six Nations and, and where we was going then. There's some good belief then. And I think the, the lads in the summer um, continued that on. You know, was, the, the Japanese game was a was a, a great victory for us with missing all, missing all the big guns, etc. You know, so it's nice that we've been able to to kick on and get up to speed as soon as we possibly can because the hardest thing about international international rugby is is kicking on when you first uh, meet back certainly for for us from the northern hemisphere like you know you it's always split it up into um small segments and you've got to make sure that you're you're on point when you meet back up and and, and kick on rather than take a step back to go forward again and that's the most pleasing thing about where we've been so far